my hair is a good representation of how I'm feeling this morning, which is just wildly crappy. So <laughs> I'm dying. I have such a migraine right now. Like, oh yeah, that's not a great bun. Yeah, so I booked this appointment a week ago to get Botox for my migraines. And ironically, I woke up with a migraine. So yay me. For educational purposes, it's probably a good thing. For my own, you know, physical pain, it's not great. Uh, sitting in front of this window right now makes me want to throw up. So as soon as I finish this, I'm probably going to have, you know, a little mini puke sesh. And then we're going to move on to the rest of the day. I did a lot of like research and watch videos and stuff of how the Botox is supposed to help. And from my understanding, if you're putting it within your like pressure points and stuff like that, say this is your like sensors to tell your brain like, ow, this hurts, you have a migraine. I'm pretty sure the Botox puts a layer and stops those sensors uh, from letting you know that you're in pain. I don't know if that's a great example. Don't come at me, maybe do your own research, but I'm gonna try it. I have chronic migraines. Uh, I've talked about that in a lot of videos and I'm just like, something's gotta be done. Nothing ever freaking works and I'm just so tired of it. So I'm willing to, I'm willing to do it, to spend the money. So, oh, <laughs> I was gonna show you my acne. You don't care about my acne. Okay, so this is my forehead, like normal lines. I'm pretty sure it's probably gonna take these lines out. I don't know if that's the case, but I'm assuming because if Botox is going into my head, even if it's for migraines, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be like stopping this. So guys, I am back from my appointment. It went really, really well. Kyle actually picked me up because he went to the grocery store while I was in my Botox appointment and he got me flowers. Like how cute. It's seriously the little things that count. I was so, so happy. He knew I was having a bad day and that I had a migraine, so I was like, you know, I'm excited. I love that. Anyways, it made me really happy. Uh, let me show you my head. Uh, right now, everything looks the same. Like this isn't gonna like, I think go into effect uh, for a couple days, if not like a couple weeks. But anyways, it was entered into my forehead here, here, and then into like multiple parts of my skull, um, specifically to get the spots that trigger my migraines. But anyways, it went super well. The pain was so, so minimal. It was awesome. I'm gonna be honest though. I'm gross, so I don't mind these things, but it does crunch when it's going into your skull and then you feel like a whew, amount of liquid. Uh, that's a weird ass feeling, like super freaking weird. But if you're gross like me, you don't mind it. As far as like the forehead and stuff goes, easy peasy so quickly she was so gentle and she did an awesome job um it costs around 450 dollars so it should last several months i got this little paper of like you know aftercare and stuff so i just can't exercise or use like a sauna or hot tub and i can't lay down for four hours so i have to actually stay up till 10 p.m and i know i'm lame but i go to bed really early so that's gonna be the hardest part <laughs> to be honest and um, I have to just make sure I exercise the muscles. So I'm actually like moving them around like this and stuff, which is opposite to what I thought. I thought that you should just like be still and like, you know, be still. Hey guys, day number two. I don't think there was any major differences yet. I think everything's still the same as far as like movement and all that. Um, I haven't noticed anything yet, but I think it takes a bit to come into full effect. Uh, but just a quick update, uh, it is a bit sore like on my head and stuff just because I mean needles were put into my skull so naturally I think that would happen but other than that, um, yeah no differences really yet so we'll see. Hello update day number three, still a lot of movement in my face uh, but yeah exciting. Can you pause TikTok? I'm just recording this like brief clip. One sec. Day number four, um, there's still like movement. I feel like it's not as much. Maybe it's just cause I'm wearing makeup. But anyways, day number four, still no headache. So freaking excited. It is the next day. I ended up getting a headache right basically in here. And I was like, what the heck? It felt like a pressure headache from like the change in weather, which it might've been. Uh, but also I got my period today. So like, I'm just not having a time. So I think that's why, but I find like my forehead is a little less crunchy, <laughs> crunchy, not crunchy, ew. Um, it doesn't move as much. So I think things are starting to happen. Um, but yeah, so far so good, nothing unusual. Uh, so just, you know, period life. So I'm making waffles. 
It has been six official days since I got my treatment. It is crazy to see the difference. Like this is as much as I can raise my face and scrunch. Pretty freaking crazy. So I haven't got an official migraine in a bit, but I do find that my body, like the symptoms that I get, it's very achy, it's sore. Normally I get a migraine associated with that. So I'm still getting those symptoms, but yet I'm not feeling it in my head. So it's a really, really weird feeling because I know my body so freaking well at this point. Um, but yeah, like it'll get sore in my head, but yet without the actual symptoms of like of a piercing migraine. So I mean, so far so good. It's supposed to take a couple weeks, I think, for the Botox to like fully get in the places it's supposed to be, but so far so good. It's a very weird experience. It's super weird that my face does not move, really. Hey guys, so I've legitimately waited several hours to film this specific clip, but I went dirt biking um, and I have a line, but uh, it is from my goggles, not anything else. So just disregard that, pretend it's not there. But I just wanted to say how thrilled I am that the Botox worked. I haven't had a headache, a migraine, nothing. Basically, as soon as my forehead froze up and the Botox actually worked, it's been great. Um, at first I thought like the first three days I was kind of disappointed because I was starting to get like a headache slash migraine. I'm like, what the heck? It's not working, but I could still move my forehead. So I was like, okay, so if you are planning to get it, just know that it takes a bit to actually like, you know, start to work and process. So once you can't move those muscles anymore, that's officially when it's going to start helping you. Um, but I, like I said, I think in my last clip or the clip before, I could tell by my body that I would normally have a migraine because of like how stiff my shoulders were and I didn't have a freaking migraine. So it is a hundred, hundred percent worth the money. I would have paid triple the amount of money to not have a headache. I literally said to Kyle the other day, I was like driving and I'm like, is this how people live their life? Like they're just, you know, driving their car, no migraines, no headaches. like. It is the life I wanna live. So I'm really curious how long it'll actually work for and help me, um, but if you suffer from headaches and migraines, I could not recommend this service enough at all. Like it was amazing. Uh, Nicole was so sweet. I will link her information below. So if you are in the area and you want to go to her, I couldn't recommend her enough. She was so professional. She gave me all the information I needed because I had the consultation first and then my appointment I booked after, but yeah, I'm just like, I could cry with how happy I am because I suffered with such bad migraines for so many years, probably like eight or nine years that now I'm like, ah, so I finally found something that worked. So anyways, I just wanted to share my experience with you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to email me, send me a message on any of my platforms. I will be sure to help you. And I'll just give you like a little like, this is my face now. So besides this line, which is dirt bike line, disregard that, it is amazing. Ah, so like, yeah. Anyways, thank you guys and have a great rest of your day. Bye.